hello guys, Plus King 64 here, and today, yeah, you read the title, and this is probably one of the first that's everybody done, but you know what I'm about to say. So, today, we're going to be opening all the wackos throughout the years, all the plushies that has been released. Now, these are, like, all of them, like, I've collected all of them, these are all the years that they have been released. 1993 all the way to 2022. Yes, there is a 2022. So, with that being said, let's get right into opening all the wackas throughout the years. Okay, so first off, before we begin, let's just move these all to the side. Uh, I'm with them all. There we go, that's good enough. Or let's just do this one. There we go. Alright, also, before we get started, I'm not going to be using scissors anymore. I'm going to be using this. This is a nice knife for cutting boxes, I heard, so I'm going to be using this for today. So let's go ahead and get started with the first plush. Alright, so our first plush here today is the first ever Wacko plush to be released to the public. And this plush is the 1993 Wacko plush. Now, this plush is made by a company called Dankin, I believe. And some cool things about this plush is that on this hang tag, Dot doesn't have her usual flower that she has on her hair, but a bow tie instead. But also, what's crazy is that when making this, they made it with just solid black eyes instead of putting little white dots on the top of the eyes. But after unboxing this one, I'll show you the one with white dots, also from 1993. But before we unbox this, let me show you how I actually got this plush. It was actually a pretty rough journey though. So how I'm going to show you how I got all the plushies is show you the progress on how I actually bought them to when they actually got delivered. That's basically how it's going to be for all the plushies on this list. Alright, so I'm gonna get 
first, uh, well, not the first. The first one I got was 1997, but anyways. This is the first plush ever made. And, oh, I'm apparently the only one here. And again, it was shipped with Australia, so that's kind of cool. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. So I'll take this one. Alright, so it says this package here, which was the Wacko. Uh, the description of it, since they have a description for it in Australia, was said that it was just a toy. And then, <laughs> um, in kilograms, this weighs like, like 0.10 kilograms. So, pretty cool though. Let's just go open this thing. Alright, so, that's how basically <laughs> I got this. And I can't believe this actually came from Australia. So, let's take a closer look. So as you can see right here, it says Australian Post, flat rate, whatever this is. This is a small bag. And then on the back side, there's even more juicy stuff that you can see here. So you can see the little description there, it just said toy. <laughs> and then um, all this other stuff, the way it's worth, and all this other cool stuff. I can't really read this that well, so it's really up to you guys. So basically this is just a description of the item and how it will, was going to be delivered in you know, the United States. Alright, so let's just go ahead and open this, shall we? Here we go. All right, we got it open, let's see. All right. Yes, this, again, the pictures, yeah, it, it's in double wrap. Cool, huh, yeah. Right, let's open this. Boys, kids, always remember to cut away from yourselves. Because you, know, you don't want to cut yourself. Duh. Why can't I open this? see him and there he is look at this but uh he is in this nice plastic bag of course no duh they have they're not really manufacturers let's open this thing up here <laughs> he's just sitting there look at this dude let's just open this guy because i know you're eager to see this brush All right and he's getting out there he is his hands, his ears. This feels really good for when this actually came out. I'm pretty sure y'all are just like, oh my god, this guy looks crazy. Uh, yeah, me too. He's way smaller in person, dude. Freaking look at this. Basically the size of my freaking arm. Like, my hand, actually. Alright, so. Here is the tag. Right there. There's Dot's little bow on here also. This is the Dakin tag. Right there, 1993. This looks pretty cool, actually. You know, his floppy ears and all that stuff. All right, let's really take a closer look. All right, so here he is. Um, you can see the black eyes right here. They're not having. They don't have white dots, like I said. The ears, they look really eerie. <laughs> There's his whiskers. You can barely see them. There you go. Then his nice blue. Um. Sweatshirt, pretty cool. And let me show you the tag here. Look at that, pretty cool. I think I should shine some light just so y'all can see this well. So as you can see, Dot's bow right there, you can see. Looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. And the back. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's the tag. It's just as proof, 1993 right there. I'm thinking right there. Alright. Of course, his mouth, which his tongue's not selling onto the mouth, which is kind of weird. They did that back in the day, which I like, thought was kind of weird. There's his little feet. His cute little, nice squishy feet. His tail. Looks pretty nice. 
And uh, yeah, that is the 1993 Wacko Plush. This was the first one ever made, so it's crazy because it is in new condition, which I am actually really, really surprised about. So yeah, that was the 1993 Wacko Plush, right? So let's just get it right into the next one. Let's go. Hey guys, uh, future me here. Uh, yeah, sorry, you just saw me. While doing the thing, I kind of forgot to, uh, you know, record when I opened the second version of 1993. So, let's do that. I didn't do any process thing either, so, uh, let's just show that. Okay, so look, the seller said that um, the package is the size of like a brick. So, I'm gonna see. <laughs> it's not the size of a brick. <laughs> Alright, and that's since we got that out of the way. Now let's actually get into the plush. Now, here it is. You know what I named this box? I named it the paper tape box. Look at this. So much paper, so much all doogie daggy all over the place. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a trusty knife, always cut away from you. And uh open the sucker. No, I had to point, I had to cut from me, I'm sorry. Don't do that though, for real. I'm just getting holes in the box. Cool. This part's not sharp, by the way. Now, the middle. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know. I just got two points. And cut my address off. I don't want to cut anything. You even cut? I didn't even cut it! What the? Oh, I got a hole at least. Alright. <laughs> okay, this is probably the hardest box to open. Here's inside so far. We just got, uh. Whatever this is, a bag. Alright, so there's, uh. I believe two plushies in here because again I told you it got paired with a dot. Alright. So first one we got here. Uh again I'm just gonna show you the dot. Just to, uh, you know be in a little uh advertising mood. And uh yeah, here's the dot. And uh as you can see that's this cool little anime X little bag packaging right here. Right here it says anime X plush. Don't. I know dots on this collection, but it, it accidentally got paired. But anyways, so if you want this, I'm telling you right now. 
I will sell this, right, on my eBay. If y'all want this plush, let me know, and I'll send you to my um, eBay listing of this. Probably after this video gets uploaded, I will have all these up on eBay, and y'all can actually, you know, purchase these. If not, then I'll let you know when eBay's up. So we probably shipped in the exact same thing, this bag right here. So, yeah, just want to let y'all know about that. Now this guy. The moment we have been waiting for, the second version of the Wacko Plush. See how glorious he looks. <laughs> Yay. Alright, so. Here he is. Look at this. According to this version, this version has eyes. Pretty cool. And, uh, again, right here, states 1993. And then he has the same exact packaging, Yakko Wacko and Dot right there. And, of course, it says Animax Plush Wacko. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Again, another 1993, like, it did have, um, like, these kind of eyes right here. But it didn't have the white dots on them. So it's kind of off-putting to many. But, yeah, this is the... Second version of 1993 I, I got. Just something fun, you know? You think I'm just gonna leave him in here? Oh, heck no, bro. We're gonna have to take him out. But don't don't worry. I'm gonna take him out respectfully. I'm gonna still keep this, right? Because this is really rare to come across. Like, just this packaging, you know what I'm saying? That's how you bought it for. Alright, I'm gonna go get my scissors because I can't do it with a knife. So, let's just go. And we have the scissors. So, this top part right here, we're just going to go ahead and carefully cut this little tiny piece and bring him out. So, I can zoom in if you want, but I'll, I'll do it for y'all. Watch myself. Alright, I think we did it. You're free. Uh, Alright, so, we still have the little... Classic thing on top, but this is how it looks flat. Just without a plush in it. Alright, so there it is. That's how it looks flat. Uh, looking nice and cool. Like the 90s. It literally screams the 90s. It's just the packaging. Pretty cool. The back here. This is how the back looks. It's, in right there. it's kind of hard because the clothes are actually, you know, kind of, uh, Messing it up. Don't worry, keep this nice and safe with my collection. Don't worry. As for the plush itself, this is how he looks like. <laughs> He's so stiff. <laughs> so again, this plush is brand new. Literally, he hasn't been taken out, out of his packaging. And gosh dang, he's so little. So here's this little tag. This is how it looks like. Here's the little other side, which just has the materials. Me in China. Who would know? So, here's his little feet right here. Look at that. Pretty cute, huh? Then we got his tongue. Then we got his little... <laughs> then we got his nose. And then, of course, we got his two little big eyes. We got his hat, which is, well, sort of sewn on. And then we got the bolts of his hat, his little backside here. Then we got his butt with his tail. His back of his hand. <laughs> That's so weird. And then the back of his shoes. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, but yeah, this is it. This is uh, the second version of the 1993 Wacko Plush. I say it's the second version because it has, you know, the eyes. Okay. Now back to our scheduled programming with Past Me to do the next plush. Let's go! Okay, now our second one here was also made by Jenkin, and that is the 1994 Wacko Flesh. Now, this basically looks exactly like the first one, but they added Yakko and Wacko's whiskers and Dot's yellow flower on her hair. But also, on the tush tag, or the butt tag, they added a more materials tag, which was not really used on, you know, plushies like these. So, let's take a look on actually how I got this plush here.
So like guys, I know this is like the second one on our list, but like look at this. I'm getting it at night, at night time, and it's raining. How cool is this? Here we are. Have to use it at a one time zoom so y'all can actually see. Cause if I put it like to zero six, yeah y'all you can't see it. <laughs> and uh. Here we go, here's our key for the, the pestle thingy. All right, so our lucky one is pestle number one. Let's see. I believe this is one, right? Yeah, it's one, okay. Here we go. All right. Here it is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dark, but you get the picture. There we go. There it is. I can't show the back because it has our address. All right, we're walking back. This is our 1994 Ucka Plush. Let's go open in the daytime or whenever I'm recording this. All right, now that you know, let's just go ahead and open this. Again, a really cool prompt stuff here. You can see right there, Canada Post. See right there, Canada Post. And uh, yeah, who knew that I was gonna get Somebody from Canada and Australia. But we just started this game. Let's just go ahead and open this, shall we? Here we go. Uh, I believe you just cut this thingy. I don't know basically how to open this. <laughs> Do I even need a knife? Oh, wait, here we go. We're getting something. Ah, uh, what a cheap thing. Alright, anyways. See if it's in there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and here he comes. There he is. Oh, look how cool he looks. Just like in the picture I showed y'all. All right, let's just go ahead and get him out this thing, thing here. Oh shoot, there's a sticky. Sorry. There. 
Wow, they actually sealed this really well. I'm surprised. Alright, he's going up. And there he is. Now, he looks a lot more, like, you know, built right, I guess. His head's more squishy, his ears, blah blah blah, everything looks nice. Here we go, same thing. But the tag is different, as you can see. Cool. This is the original anime expanding. It also has this weird triangle thing, which I don't know what that is. His whiskers are much more bigger on this plush. His ears are still the same. But look right here. You can see 1994 on the tush tag, but also everything else materials. Alright, now let's just take a closer look on this plush here. Alright, so here he is. Looks pretty nice. Again, still has the black eyes here. And you can see his whiskers grew, like more farther than, you know, the other one. And his tongue, nice, his nice blue sweatshirt. You can see the tag here. Here it is. Looks pretty cool. The back. It still says San Francisco right there. It still says 1993, but it's 1994 on the back, so. And then it just has this thing on the back, which I think is kind of weird. Then out here, you can see, also 1994, and then on this side here, the is new. Oh, it's backwards. Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, I see it says same as seven, actually. Alrighty, so, yeah, this is basically the 1993 Wacker Plush, but, you know, it's 1994 now. Alright, so, let's just go ahead and get into the next one. Let's go! Alright, our third one here we have has probably the most interesting packaging out of all the plushies we have today. And that one is the 1995 Wacker Plush. Now, this plush was made by a company called Play by Bay, which, fun fact, came from my city called San Antonio, Texas, which, again, is pretty cool. Um, also, these things are probably the most expensive ones out of all the plushies I got. So, if you're wondering what price, just stick to the end and you'll see. Alright, so, let's just see how I got this plush somehow. So...
This is all right. So now that you know, and how much it was. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Uh, we weren't gonna go to the end. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and open this, shall we? All right. All right. Here we go. Let's dig in here. Oh man. The moment I got this, I actually was very excited because these plushies are like really well, like, you know, packaged, but also these are probably like the most rarest ones. Now, as you probably know, it came in a bundle. Just like the other 1993 Wacka plush. So, we're just gonna see how this goes, right? They're all packaged in the same one, so... We're just gonna, we're just gonna show you, alright? There we go. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> of course, Yakko's first. Alright, here we go. Y'all ready? Here we go. Here they come. Oh boy. What a handful we have here. Oh, jeez Louise. Check these guys out. Wow. All right. Uh, let's just get this out the... All right. Let's just open the... They're just in a Ziploc bag. I don't really need to do anything. All right. Uh, here's a uh, dot. I'm not really, you know, intrigued. But here's the one I am intrigued about. Here he is. The 1995 Wagga Plush. He looks goofy and amazing. <laughs> Check out the back here. Ooh, look at that. They have their cool little packaging on the back here. You can see there too. The last one here is just Yakko. You know, you know, the all the usual. Alright. Now stick to the end, again, like I said. If y'all want these. Uh, yeah. Just stick to the end. Promise me. You won't regret it. Alright, now let's check out this plush, shall we? So, look how cool he is. Look at this, dude. He got the white dots. Finally. It took them like three years. He got his blue little shirt here. His hands. Of course, his feet. Look at the feet, dude. Like little marshmallows. I don't know if I can show y'all the tag, but I'll try. But... There it is, and of course the back, like I said. There's what I was talking about. My hometown, San Antonio, Texas. Alright, but let's just go ahead and take him out of the packaging. Don't worry, the other ones won't, but I'm going to just take out Wacko, because, you know. But don't worry, I'll save the packaging as well for him. Alright, so how to take the packaging off? As you see these little thingies right here. You're just gonna basically untwist them like, you know, bread. And do what I told y'all to do. Oh, jeez. There we go. There's the first one, which was for his neck. And then, next ones are for his arms, which are these ones right here, and then this one right here. Let's just do that too. Alright. First one out. Just pop them out. Or just leave the middle things on there. Come on, bud. You're almost there. Get out. <laughs> there we go. Oh, frick. You're still stuck on the neck. Alright, there we go. Again, I will keep this. Don't worry. Y'all are being granted. Alright. Here he is. In his natural glory. Now, fun fact. This can actually bend. Look. See, you can say hi. Look at that. His hands bend. His legs bend like this. Cool, huh? And also, I think his ears. Yeah, his ears does too. So you can put one like this, and then one on the bottom, like he usually has, like this. Or like curved, sort of, like that. There you go. Cool. His cheeks got way bigger. His whiskers somewhat the same. His eyes are really nice. And uh, yeah, let's show you the tag now here. There you go. This plush looks pretty, pretty cool for how it looks. Alright, so, again, they actually have white dots, finally, like I said. 
And the whiskers look pretty nice. He has his nice blue, light blue shirt, or sweatshirt. His hands, which are sewn on pretty good. Look at that, cool. And then his feet, which are built like marshmallows for real, dude. Look at that. And then his tail, which surprisingly does not have a wire. And then here's the tag here. Here's the tag. Play by play. Made in China. And then also manufactured by San Antonio. Here's the other thing you need to know. And then also the materials. On him. So yeah, pretty cool plush. Looks pretty nice, pretty sweet. Uh, definitely really well built. But yeah, most of these plushies are actually brand new, so it's uh, kind of crazy how I actually got my hands on them. Let's just get right on to the next plushie. Here we go. Okay, so for our fourth one we got was actually really difficult to find because I didn't think I would ever find this plushie, but somehow we actually did. Oh, really? And that one is the 1996 Wacko Plush. Really cool, right? Okay, so this plushie came out from a company called Acne Novelty, I think. And this one was like I like to call the Grandma Wacko because this one really looks weird and he came out of a bookstore, I think. He kind of looks like he did because <laughs> he's kind of looked like he built like that. No, but also, the seller was surprisingly a grandma too, so maybe all those theories were, you know, coming to plan. So, yeah, that probably explains why he has that sort of wacko grandma look. Let's just explain how I got this weird wacko flesh. It was actually surprisingly twisted. <laughs> All right, so here is the 1996 Wacko plush right here. It's really cool because this all said a little thank you note right there for sticker. Also, the cool teal packaging that she also said. So, that's a pretty cool touch as well. Yeah. Alright, now that you know, it was kind of uh, sad that I didn't get any pictures of when it was being packaged. But, yeah, it's sad, but you could see a little thank you tag right there. Nice, nice. So, let's just go ahead and open this. It's not really any packaging up here. So, yeah, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, open him from the feet. I think I see some tape, so I'm gonna just cut this. Oh wait, here we go. Come on, nerd. Here we go. Oh no, wait, hold on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start. All right, here we go, finally. All right, let's just get him out. There he comes. 
Oh, wait. Let's do this side. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. He has all his wires in his ears. Who would have thought? <laughs> Here he is. Looking nice and glorious. Alright. So. He also has this little thing, which I think is kind of funny. Alright, so his sweater actually looks to see really good days, because it's really built well. And look at his feet. It's like the dots are so close together. It's kind of weird. His tail, his tag, like I said. And yeah, pretty cool. Look at his little whiskers, too. Let me just get this packaging out of the way. So, his eyes are built the same, but like they're not on the side, but they're on like, the tops. There's his whiskers looking nice. His hat is positioned differently, actually, because, you know, it's supposed to be on the back, not the side right here. But, you know, they're going for that 2D look, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And then his mouth, look at that. And also, his tongue stick to his, um, whatchamacallit, mouth, which the 1995 one had, but I didn't specify that. And there's his uh, little collar, little nice little blue sweatshirt. His feet, which are like, built like this, cool, pretty cool. And then on the back, there's this little golden hang thing, which I don't want to do. And then right here, there's this tag, you can see. 1996, I believe, you know. And the back, right here, look at this. Look how cool this looks, bro. And then this part's faded, unfortunately, but still, it's nicely built for. Again, the tongue. It's backwards. I don't know. So, yeah, pretty cool. Lacko plush. Hope he stays really well. So, yeah. Alright, so, on to the next one. Woohoo! So, for our fifth one here, this plush is basically my favorite plush out of all the Wacko plushies I have. And this one is the 1997 Wacko plush. <laughs> For me, this plush looks exactly like the Wacko from the original Animax TV show. And also, this is the one that also got restored by a professional back to it like it was brand new. Like, which is crazy to think about. But all that aside, this plush was made by a company called Ace. What a good name, right? Which also is associated with Play by Play, which basically means came from my hometown called San Antonio, Texas, once again. Now I even like him more now. <laughs> but now, let's see how I got my first ever Wacko plush that I bought. This one, I waited a year to open. Alright guys, and here is the 1997 Wacko Plush, right here. It's in my hand. It's a lot smaller than I expected, but hey, I think it's the size that I thought it was going to be, so that's good. Alright, now that I told you how this all started, let's go ahead and open this. Here we go. Oh, it's just okay. Okay. No. Get off. I'm gonna open the right way. Pinch your hair so I don't cut the plush. 
Ooh, look. He's in the bag. That's pretty interesting. Okay. I thought he was gonna come with any other good packaging, but I guess not. Alright. Let's take him out. What you all been waiting for? Well, for me. I don't know about anybody. anybody. This was probably the bigger one, too. Oh, man. Here he comes. Oh, man. Aw, oh, look at that. He said, thank you. You are so welcome. But also, thank you. My good man. I believe. Not sir, but man. Alright. Let's take a look. <laughs> Aw, look at him! Aw, look at him! This is so sweet. Alright. It's getting out. <laughs> Aw, look at him. He's so sweet. This plush looks amazing. His ears also do very that good. Man, his also sweatshirt is also pretty well built. Wow, oh, look at that. Look at his fluffy tail. Look at his big fluffy tail, dude. Wow. Just give a look at that, dude. His whiskers are all the way up here. <laughs> okay, wow. What a plush we have here today, y'all. Let me get this stuff in. Alright, here he is. Out of the packaging, all nice, fresh. For a whole year, it's crazy. This is the first one ever I bought. And he is pretty, he's bigger than all the plushies I have, which I'm so happy about. So, here he is. Look at his nice big nose here. His eyes are positioned very well. But look, does he not look like that? Like he's exactly identical. His hat is also on the side, but who cares? He got his little whiskers. He got his little feet on the top. His head's really squishy. Here's the back of his sweatshirt. And then here's the front, which is, again, really well made. His feet, really big. Nice. Nice this one, too. And then here's his hands. Looks really nice. <laughs> but man, they did a really good job in restoring this, dude. But also, look! There's this little hang tag thing that, you know, if the tag is on there. I already know what the tag looks like, but it looks like this. No, I wish I had that. No, anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. This guy is, uh, pretty big for the camera. <laughs> oh, it was pretty bad. But here he is. Look at him. So, let's get over this. So, he has his nice black eyes with the little white things. Crossed really well. His nose, very big, very squishy. Here's his mouth, sewn with uh, just some felt right here. I believe that's fun. Here's his tongue, which is actually bendable. What? Oh, this gets better and better, though. Right here on the back, there's his shirt. Looks really nice. You see the material on it. It's really nice. Then here's his feet. Look at his feet. Looks pretty cool. Here's the bottom of it. His feet are actually shaped well. Nice. Then, uh, the sweater can also go off. You know, it just has a little... I don't know if you can see that well. You can see it's just not fur anymore. It's just cut off. Alright, and then here is the tag here that we have. Let me show y'all. It's on his leg, so it's kind of hard to show y'all. But here it is, this Animaniacs. Here's that other side of it. It's pretty cool. It says, pretty cool. It says Animaniacs 1997. Also, this other side of the tag here. Pretty cool, made in China. You can see also they're associated with Play by Play toys. This is the back of that one as well. Alright, pretty cool. Pretty cool plush. So, yeah, this plush, again, is probably my favorite one out of all my collection that I have. So, yeah, this plush is pretty big, pretty soft. But also pretty adorable, as I do say so myself. <laughs> so, let's just go ahead and get to the last one. I know it's... Uh... <laughs> so, finally, our last one from the 90s. Yeah, I know it's sad, but we still have two more to show, so everything's good. 
All right, so this one I'm talking about is the 1998 Wacka Plush. Look how cool this box looks, All right? Anyway, so this plush, fun enough, actually came from the Warner Brothers Studio Star, which had over 890 locations all over the world. Dang, that's a lot of the stores. Can't imagine that. But also, this plush cons was considered a bean bag to plush or whatever it was. But either way, it's still just a plush. But just has little white stuff in the butt. <laughs> Actually, take that back. <laughs> so let's just take a look on how I got my final Wacko plush from the 90s. Yes, because there is no 1999 one. Because, you know, they took Animaniacs off the air. <laughs> Sad, sad times. But it was something that we will never forget. But let's just go ahead and show y'all. All right, so here's the 1998 Wacko plush. Also, it is really hot. There it is. All right, so after telling the tale, you gotta open the grill. I don't know. <laughs> Don't call me Dr. Seuss. Alright, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and open this. This is a really well built box. I love it. Let's just open it down the middle. Here we go. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, the other sides. There we go. Oh, yeah. Alright, here he is. Here we go. Oh, the nice sound. <laughs> The box opening. Ooh, it's an unveiling we have here. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, look at this dude. He's nice built in some bubble wrap. Get him out of here. Ah, oh, look at him. Look how sweet he looks. So cute. But also, bubble wrap. Come on, nerd. 
There's no way I killed that whole thing, dude. There's literally no way. It looks like a sheet of glass. <laughs> All right, let's just take them out, shall we? There's a little cute little bag here. I'm surprised I didn't name it. Hmm. All right, here he comes. Oh, look how cute he looks. Oh my god, and you see his hands, his nice little... Sh he looks like a puppet, actually. Look his little feet, looks nice. His tail, look at that. The tag. And also, see right there? The Warner Brothers tag. Pretty cool. Alright, and also his hook! <laughs> when he was being sold. So yeah, cool. As you can see, no more plastic bot eyes. It's sewn in, which I think is pretty good preferred. Here's his nose, looks pretty nice. His tongue is attached to the mouth, looks really cool. His whiskers, nice. I like them. His ears, his hat, you get the deal. His hook, probably gonna leave that on there. His nice little blue, light blue shirt. Which is actually really it's nice and soft. And, um, you know, his cool little gloves. Cool. His little tummy. <laughs> then, as you can see, his face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, never mind. I thought it was messed up for a second. Looks like he's really nice. Then, you know, the beans. Then the tail looks really nice. And yeah, let's just show you this tag here. Here it is. Wonder Brothers Studio Store, made in China, 1998. Really nice. This is exclusively designed. There's all the other materials. And here's his nice Wonder Brothers Studio tag. And let's open this up here. Alright. He was sold for $7. Wacko. You can see all his story or whatever, I think, on the back. Oh no, never mind. Like 1998 right there. Alright, so, nice looking plush. He is, uh, pretty cute, pretty squishy, and, uh, yeah, looks really nice. Alright, on to the 2000s. Oh no! So, after all these years, the anime has got a reboot on Hulu. And to celebrate this, the people at Kids Robots decided to release plushies of Dot, Yakko, and of course, yours truly. Well, Wacko, it's, it's, come on. And the weird thing was that a little plush got shipped in a big box. Why is that? Besides this, all I could say is that this plush has a really cool hang tag and I love how it was designed. But if you guys are wondering, why is the lighting like different? Well, if any light is different. This is because I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Just kidding. No, but this is me from the past saying this because I'm actually recording this on February 14th, aka Valentine's Day. And the reason why I'm doing this is probably because I, I literally had no idea. Like, I cannot wait, like, all the way until December to open these. So I thought or decided to open one of these so I can have something to hold on to while I wait. So here's how I got this plush before we actually unbox this. So I'll show you how I got this. There it is. There's my 2020 Wacko plush right here. So, without further ado guys, let's unbox this. 
So here's how the box looks like. It says right there, Waffle Push 2020. And right there it says the address and all that stuff. But of course, I put my name two times for weird reasons. So the interesting thing about this was that the reason why I decided this box to open first, like to hold on to, I guess, was because they had a little slip right here. So I decided to open this so that way I didn't have to do that anymore. So let's just go ahead and unbox this so I don't waste your time. Here we go. Big center. Bro, I didn't even cut anything. Come <laughs> on. I'm gonna break the plush. Alright, so before I peek in here. Jesus. Okay, so from the sheet we got here. Let's take a closer look. So here's my name, of course. On the method. This is my name again. It says no 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 no. I don't know what that is. That's kinda sussy. And then here's the item number and of course what I got. The Amex Wonderful? Wacko? I don't know what that name is. Let's just go ahead and open them, shall we? So, what I'm gonna do, let's open them, shall we? Jesus. <laughs> he was right dead center in the middle. Anyways, here he is. There is the 2020 Wacko Plush. And like I said, I'm here. Look at his tag, dude. I love how his tag is. He came like how he came in the stores. There's his little bushy tag right there. So yeah, that's him. Um, so now we're just gonna go ahead and unwrap and see how he is. So let's go and do that. So of course, being me as a collector of all well, these guys, I gotta make sure I save every single piece of whatever they're packed in. <laughs> All right, so we got him out. Let's have our first impressions and how he feels. And here he is. Oh my lord, he is actually really soft. Than I expected, because literally store toys are not really that soft. So <laughs> I was really unexpecting how this would feel. But yeah, from the feel of it, it, he is pretty soft. So let's check out his little hang tag here. It says Tiny Two Adventures and Animaniacs right here. And on the back, this is how it looks like. Again, Tiny Tooth Animaniacs. Made by Kid Robot, right there. And all the details are here. Tiny Tunes Animaniacs, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, let's take a look at the little tush tag here. Hey, that's actually really little. It's like the size of my finger. Here it is. Tiny Tooth Adventures. Again, Animaniacs. Made by Plentable. I don't know what that is. Then just the back info. Nobody cares about the back info. Anyways. So here he is. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep these um, stuff over here. So here is a good look at the 2020 Wacko plush. Now he's not really that detailed, but he is he is doable, I guess. He has his little um, hang thing thingy that he has at the store, and his tag and his little feet, hands. Nose, his tongue, of course, that's the signature wacko. If you do not have a tongue, then what the heck are you doing? And what's also cool is that. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually take a closer look at this guy, like really close, like this. So, first thing, let's start from head to toe. So, first things first, he got his little store hanger that he has when he's being sold at stores. And here's his little ears. He has little ears. It's like the size of my finger. Both of them right here. And then, let's go to his face. Now, his face this is pretty cool. He has had hand stitched eyes right here. His face. His nose is pretty soft right here. This cute little smile. And then his tongue right here. Which is a piece of felt. And then, here's his hat. Um. It's not really, you know, a good hat, but it's, it's still a good hat. But cool thing is that you can actually flip it like this and it'll actually stay there. 
It's not really that cool, but just uh, point that out. I don't even know what this bump is. But I think it's just the shape of the hat, you know? You see this little part of the hat? Yeah, I think it's a little bump for the hat. So, now we're going down here. The body here. It looks like he has a onesie. So, I don't know about the say about the hands, because they're not really hands, they're just you know, fingers. Big fingers, actually, for his hands. And then you got some biceps. No, but. <laughs> so, he has big biceps. And then, of course, his blue sweatshirt. And, uh, again, these are not feet, I guess. They're just little marshmallows. Cute little marshmallows on his feet. And let's take a look at the back here. Again, it's just all same here. Oh, yeah, I did forgot to Swiss mention. He has whiskers, yes. I didn't even see them because they're all tucked up like this, so. And then, of course, he has one right here, too. Oh, wait, never mind, there's two. So, yeah, that's a really close in depth look at the 2020 Marco plush you might be wondering oh so this is it then this is the last plush no it is not the last plush this is what I thought but no this month actually <laughs> um, while I'm recording this of course the Warner Brothers studio store they made another plush and I don't know I'll just talk about it more when I will see you guys in December or when I record in December but for now, bye bye past me, and also, learn a board. So, I'll see you guys in December, of course, when I actually do film this. So, yeah. Um, I actually did order him recently, so, yeah. Let's just see when I actually get him. It's funny, like, it's complaining sort of. So, let's just, I'll tell you more when, in December. So, let's go. In December. Whoop! All right, uh, oh. Oh, shoot. It's a bit dark in here. <laughs> All right, so for this last one, we're going to be doing a little scene change here because this is going to be our last well, Waco plush to unbox. So here's how I got this sort of last minute plush before we unbox it. Alright, so maybe this wasn't a really little change, but all I can say is that if we get the camera around here, we're on a cruise. Uh, <laughs> so, this is also being recorded on June 12th of 2022. And aka, this is our first vacation of the, the year. So I thought it'd be pretty special to open this last plush here. So I should be able to open this last one on the cruise. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, may I introduce you to the 2022 Wacko plush? Oh, it is the big package. Here it is. Says right there, Michael Plush 2022. 
This is the address here, and that, well, the address to the water tower itself, and then just my name. Everything else is scratched out because I do not want you to see my address. All right, now I just figured out something now. Uh, how am I actually going to open this? Use all right, you know what? We're just gonna do it with this plug here. So we're gonna do it in the sides here. I know this is not gonna look satisfying enough, but we might as well do it with what we can. Yeah, it actually works, nice. All right, so there's Wacko Plus 22.2 again, like I said. Oh, actually, this is actually looking nice. Okay, let's see here. I think I got it. Alright, so you're about to see the first unboxing of the new Wonder Brothers plushies. Or the new Wacko plushie. Alright. So first thing as you can see, what it will you get is some cool looking wrapping paper from Wonder Brothers itself. Look how cool is that? So let me take it out before I actually look at the plush here. So this is what it looks like here. Um, you can see, really cool, let me get the rest of it open, I think I have to extend the camera here, but anyway, so here is how it looks, this is basically, I guess, some um, model sheets of Bugs Bunny, which is really cool, how cool is that, huh? To get in a... Uh, I guess little Warner Brothers, you know, package. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we just got the plushie itself. And then, we got this. Which is, uh, Warner Brothers Hollywood Store Tour. Which, I guess you could visit all the landmarks of the Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank. Really cool. And then just black paper. The last thing is just the receipt, which, hold on, let me check if it has anything in my address. Alright, so here's it. Just one of our studio's tour here. Then down here. Um, right here. It says Wacko Plushie right there. So with all this box had to offer, let's go ahead and open this Wacko Plushie. Look at this! It came with a Wooloo Warner Brothers sticker. I don't know if I can show that really good light there. Yeah, see how cool that is, huh? All right, let's keep going. I wanna move this a little bit. Potato, potato. Oh wait, I got it. Got it, yes. All right, let's actually open it now. All righty, and here he is. Here he is, the 2022 Wacko Plush. Now here, this is the store tag here. This is his only tag here. And here's the back, nothing much. And he's 1995. And then let's take a look at his other tag here that he got in his butt. Right there. This is Animaniacs. Right there. Of course, just him himself, which you can again bend him. Like this. Look how cool is that? You can make him pose. You can move his legs. Looks really cool, huh? So yeah, this is the last plush, y'all. So yeah. So that's basically the 2022 Wacko plush. As well as his first unboxing on YouTube, I think. So, yeah, hope you all liked him. And, uh, yeah, I think we should get out of this place. So, <laughs> let's go back to our room. <laughs> all right, and we're back home, everybody. Yeah, pretty crazy journey we had with all these plushies, huh? All right, so I'm going to probably have to bring all the backs of that. So, let me do that. <sighs> <laughs> so, now in a little cool montage, we're going to show you all the plushies we got today. And, uh, 
hope you all like it. Look at them. Jeez, what a collection I did over the year. <laughs> so, yeah, these are all the plushes we got. And, you know, 1997 is on the top because he's my favorite. So, yeah, this is basically it. I collected all the wackos throughout the years, and finally, it is complete. So, if y'all want to try this for yourself, good luck. And uh, just let me know if you do. But I'm pretty sure none of y'all are probably trying to do this. Or, you know, try to do it with another character like Yakko or Dot. Just let me know. So, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you liked it. If y'all did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel because we got some more unboxings actually coming up very soon. For Christmas, of course. So, yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Hey, guys. Remember when I told you to, you know, stay to the end? Well, this is your treat, all right? So, check this out, all right? So, right here, and this right here. If y'all want the 1993 dot, which I'll show you right now. So, if you want this, or this, these two right here, which is not stuff for the bundle, but anyways, look, if you want these right here, these are going to be separate listings for this 1995 dot, 1995 Yakko, and this 1993 dot, if you want any one of these, Go to the description right now, or whenever I say in my community post, that these are going to be for sale. If you're wondering when, well, what price they're going to be at, they're going to be for 50 bucks each. Every single one of them each. Even this one here. So, yeah. If y'all want any of these, go to the description right now, or when I tell you in the community post, like I said, and get them. You know, message me, or actually make me an offer. If you say, uh, I don't know. Say 30 bucks or whatever. That's the lowest I'm gonna go for these. 30, but if you wanna buy it for 50, that's fine with me. So, yeah, if y'all want these, make sure you go to the description. And yeah.